I'm Rhonda Church Finfrock of Fruitful Life Studio. My business is located inside Rocky Hill Antiques in Exeter, California. Thank you for being here on my YouTube channel. I created this Valentine kit and video workshop, but it can be used and adapted for any time of year. So I will show you several different samples and please look around your home. Even though you may not have this kit or you may not have everything in this kit, you'd be surprised what you can use from your crafting stash. I started out this project using a wood burning technique on one of the 12 by 16 IOD art gallery boards. I used a chemical called ammonium chloride which is available in your aquarium stores or online. It's used as a biological growth agent for ponds and aquariums. Be sure to check out my last video on wood burning right here on this channel so that you can see more detailed information about this product and how to mix it, as well as the safety precautions. This time I decided not to use the thickener and apply it directly to a stamp pad instead of rolling it on with my brayer. But in the end, I mixed it up with the thickener so that I thinned it out a bit for the stamp pad. My best estimate is that I used approximately one tablespoon of the ammonium chloride, one tablespoon of thicket, and a half cup warm water. The chemical wood burning process is pretty simple. You mix up the solution, you roll it or stamp it onto your IOD stamps, stamp it onto some unfinished wood, let it dry, and then you heat it with a heat gun until you get the wood burn, burned effect you desire. I would recommend wearing a mask and heading outside for the wood burning process, especially if your wood has any kind of chemical treatment or finish on it, you definitely want to get outside with a mask. I've taped off the artboard's mitered corners so that the stamp would not overlap. I'm using a first generation IOD border stamp. These are available from your local IOD stockist as well as my website fruitfullifestudio.com. You can find the complete list of IOD products as well as DIY paint products on the end screen of this video. I applied a sealer to all my wood burned areas so that if I happen to get any paint on it in the process, I could just wipe it right off. Here I'm using a clay based paint to create a chalkboard out of my IOD artboard. I painted two layers and I ended up rolling on the paint to make it a smoother surface. I sealed the paint with three layers of sealer because I will be using the IOD erasable ink for this chalkboard so that I can change out the messages throughout the year. Test out the black paints and sealers that you happen to have with a scrap piece of wood. See which ones can work as a chalkboard. I think you'd be surprised. Now I'm painting the border so that I can create a decorative check checkboard pattern and then trimming it with gold paint. Since I had accidentally spilled this gold paint or patina all over my table, I decided to keep going and just trim everything out with the gold and it really tied it all together. I also painted my beads with this gold paint.
I also trimmed in gold my heart banner made from the Lady of Shalott decor stamps that I also wood burned. Now I flipped all the wooden bunting pieces over so that I could create a two-sided bunting. So that would give me four different options for displaying on my wooden artboard. I'm painting them all with a white paint and then stamping them with various IOD decor stamps. If you notice how I'm flipping this coffee bunting around, it's so that when I string it, I can stamp letters on the other side as well and they won't be reversed. Before stamping, I juiced up my black IOD ink pad with my IOD ink. These inks can be used on wood decor, furniture, clothing, pillows, whatever you feel like. They are so versatile. You want these stamps nice and juicy so you don't have to press too hard and make a mess. Once the ink was dry, I sealed all the wooden banner pieces. Next, I will be accenting the heart bunting with some IOD letters using the new Victoria Decor Mold and air dry clay. Make sure every time you use your air dry clay to wrap it up really well to keep the oxygen out. To allow the air dry clay to release easier, you can either brush the mold with cornstarch before molding or casting, or you can pop the mold with the clay into the freezer like I did. I didn't want to squish any of the fine detail of this beautiful Victoria mold. I love all the finishing touches that I think make this project so special. Here I'm gluing on little charms. They're wooden and they're from the IOD First Generation Collection. They are part of this kit. So your tears been running like a waterfall Thought the stars would never let you down And you keep on thinking you could save yourself. My letters were but now ready not. to carefully that's release from the mold, glue onto the hearts, and then I gave them a couple hours to dry before I painted them with gold. I just hope that you will learn. That's just love, that's just love drink coffee in the afternoon but this project needs to be finished soon because all I can think about is coffee <laughs> let's do this
Now that I've finished all the components of this interchangeable four-in-one chalkboard, I'll give you some examples of how to change out the message. Who doesn't like an encouraging message of appreciation? I know I do. Before stamping, I juice up my IOD ink pad with the white erasable ink. I will be using IOD font stamps as well as IOD erasable white ink to create my messages. As you can see, I used the word for from the block set and cut the F off so that I could use it as the word or. I can always piece it back together on a thin mount and stamp it together. I used some colored chalkboard chalk to add some accents and some flair. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings to sit screaming when I To change out my message, I simply use a wet wipe and erase as much as I can of the message. And if there is any ghosting left from the erasable ink, I use one of those magic erasers. It really does work like magic. I designed the travel option for this chalkboard for my husband. He is passionate about traveling and this will definitely be speaking his love language. The possibilities for switching out this chalkboard's messages are endless. If there's any negative space left, after I stamp my message, I'd love to fill in those negative spaces with the decorative decor stamps like this queen bee set. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your thumbs up and please subscribe for more free tutorials from Fruitful Life Studio. Bye guys. See you later. Happy creating. <laughs>